This morning, there's new talk over what President Trump knew when he fired National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Sources tell CBS News the president was told in January about inconsistencies in Flynn's answers about his contacts with Russia's U.S. ambassador. But the sources say Mr. Trump was not told that Flynn had lied to the FBI because lawyers were not sure of that. Michael Flynn pleaded guilty on Friday to one charge of lying. One day later, the president tweeted that he fired Flynn because he lied to the vice president and the FBI. Now, Trump attorney John Dowd helped write the tweet, but sources say it was worded poorly. It has now led to questions about whether the president obstructed justice when he told then-FBI director James Comey he hoped Comey would let the Flynn investigation go. Now, in a statement, Dowd told CBS News the president is, quote, the chief law enforcement officer of the United States and Comey's superior. He cannot obstruct justice. Himself. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman joins us at the table to discuss. So many questions are being raised here. You know, when you're a kid in school, you're always told that no one is above the law. So is the president's lawyer correct that the president cannot be charged with obstruction of justice? No, I don't believe he is correct at all. We have to look at what the word is. You use the word charge, Gail. He may be correct about that. But can a president obstruct justice? Of course a president can obstruct justice. And if he does or she does, does, they must pay the consequences. We have to look at what obstruction of justice is. It's the intent to corruptly influence, impede, or obstruct a proceeding or the fair administration of justice. It's a very unsettled question, and in this regard, the lawyer is right, that a pro we believe, or legal authorities believe, that you cannot be prosecuted. You can't be charged in a criminal court. Why do we believe it? Because it's never been done, mm -hmm. which doesn't mean it can't be done. We just don't think it can be done. Well, in fact, Ken Starr, who in, uh, investigated President Clinton during the Monica Lewinsky scandal, actually had his legal scar scholars put something up that said it is legal for a f federal grand jury to indict the president. Leon Jaworski, the Watergate special counsel, same thing with Nixon. They also concluded that you could indict a sitting president. There's, it's a, there is a mixed bag. I think that the great constitutional scholars of the land right now now believe you cannot indict. But be that as it may, we certainly know the remedy is impeachment. That is the traditional remedy. And the idea that you say you can't, my, my client, the president, can't obstruct justice, we know from Nixon and from Clinton that in the articles of impeachment, the charge, or one of the charges, was obstruction of justice. Mm -hmm. Jeff Sessions, the present attorney general, said that Bill Clinton, he believed, had obstructed justice. And isn't so, it further complicated that uh, the president's saying, I didn't do it, my lawyer did it? Oh, and Doesn't yes. that raise questions? Because when you think the president's tweeting, you think it is the president himself tweeting. Of course. That's what do. we've always been led to believe. Well, and I think that we still basically believe that. Mm -hmm. The difficulty of the lawyer getting involved is twofold. Number one, let's look at strategy here. The strategy strategy throughout has been, this never happened. There was no Russian collusion. The president never obstructed justice. Well, now we've moved to another strategy, which is the, well, if it happened, mm -hmm. the president cannot obstruct justice. That's a major shift of the defense strategy. So let's look at the fact that the lawyer now says that he, in fact, wrote or dictated the tweet. Well. By now talking about that process, has he waived the attorney-client privilege? Is there an issue here that he's simply speaking that out loud creates a whole new problem that will wind up with Robert Mueller? And when it comes to this president, it's the tweets in particular that seem to get him in trouble. He's written thousands of tweets. Can they be used as evidence of obstruction? Sean Spicer this past summer said that tweets are his official statements. Well, I think that the tweets can certainly be used as part of the evidentiary arc if there is, at some point in time ever, a charge of obstruction that is for impeachment purposes. You put all the things in the basket that happened. You put the conversation with Comey. You add in the tweets. It doesn't mean, and I agree with the people who have said the that there would not be, for the president of the United States, a look at a charge, if you will, or an impeachment of the president based on his tweets alone. Mm -hmm. That's not going to happen. Right, right. And this may never all happen, but that basket is getting more and more full. Yeah. And Robert Mueller now has all kinds of other things that he can ask. Mm -hmm. Ricky Kleeman, thank you so much.